one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. All right, we're going to start off the agenda tonight with, uh, with Scott Slattery from the UNH uh, Cooperative Extension. Welcome, Mr. Slattery. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairperson. We're very excited to have you. Thank you very much. And actually, actually, I'm going to grab some. This, this okay. time, I actually have business cards. <laughs> when I, when I, when I, you stay, when I yeah, they're gonna let me stay. They actually gave me some cards. Were you uh, only like three days in? Last I, literally, <laughs> I literally was like three or four days in. Yes. So I just got to call the roll. I'm sorry. Of course, my apologies. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. So Charlie, here. Jonathan, present. All right. Uh, Jeremy, present. Dick, right here. All right. Bonnie is not here. Ellen is not here. Joanne, here. And Jim, yes. Yeah. And I am present. So we. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Did Did you have a stack in front of you? Uh, I did not. But, okay. Uh, let, me, uh, let me give you what you were missing okay. then. Oh, is this? Yeah, it's the list. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So now I actually have cards. So yes, they are. It, literally, I, I was like in my first week, and I was had the disadvantage of my supervisor Charlie, who I think a lot of you know, left on his honeymoon. So I literally was on my own for two weeks, and I, I really have to thank Joanne. She really helped me a lot and acclimated me to what was going on in Goffstown and getting uh, getting you know handle on things. Uh, for the last month or so, Joanne and I have been meeting every week on Wednesdays. Uh, we've been talking about. The survey, which was one thing we started discussing, but at last month's meeting, um, a request was made about the list of the businesses and creating some sectors. So Joanne and I kind of culled down the list a little bit. We tried to shrink it down so you could see the one, the businesses that we've identified as Penardville businesses. This could be dated. Some of these businesses could not still be there. Maybe not. So really, we need a couple of things from the committee. The first is, is for everybody to, at their time, take a look at the list. Mm -hmm. If you know a business on this list, let me know. I, I would love to have an introduction so that I can you know, talk to these folks about the survey. So a question. Is, sure. Um, X and question mark on the side, what does that uh, signify? Oh, that was me. Oh, OK. Um, <laughs> I put an X next to some that I didn't think Fit the bill. Oh, okay. But also, I had question marks because I wasn't sure if some of those were still in existence. Right. Okay. Yeah, my understanding is the list does have some age to it, so there may be some businesses that are not zero or relocated. Um, secondly, within the list, some of the businesses are easily identified as to what they do, but some of them not so much. Mm -hmm. As I read them, and you know, I don't necessarily. I can make educated guesses. So you know, anything that the committee can fill in for us. Um, I'm happy to create this document in a shared folder and share it with everybody here in this group so that it's not like everybody's filling in, oh, I, I, I know Scott's laundry mat, I, you know, and everybody, I could do that. I'm happy to, to do set up something like that so we'll have a shared document, like a SharePoint type of thing okay. so that everybody can put their information in and we don't have to worry about re repetitiveness. Mm -hmm. So okay. Again, what are the parameters that we're looking at that would qualify? Uh, what we would say would be the businesses that we're targeting? So, yeah. Joanne and I met today and we talked about some sectors and what yeah. we were looking at. We tried to, and I think we got it down to about seven or eight sectors that we believe kind of covers all of them. And I mean, I could easily tell you the ones, and, but we wanted to talk to you oh. folks to see what you thought. If we were on the right track, you said, well, what about these, these folks, that type of thing. So the first thing we, we mentioned was retail, right? We know that there's some retail businesses in Penardville. We want to connect with them to find out about that. Uh, restaurants is another one. You know, that's that's everything from your sit-down restaurant to you know the pizza joint, you know, and all in between type of thing. Uh, manufacturing, uh, as Joanne pointed out to me, it's not just the strip on Mast Road. You know, she's been great about educating me about Goffstown and you know where things are because you know as I'm thinking in my mind, I'm thinking the strip, and she's like, well, if you go down this road. We have warehousing and manufacturing and other things going on, so we need to encompass that sector as well. Um, 
we talked about the gas station convenience store automotive type of um, endeavor. We just weren't sure about classification for that. We're going to have two separate ones because we know that not every automotive place sells soda and chips. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's auto body or something like that. And she had a great example of a business that used to be like that, selling gas and, and convenience, and now has taken their pumps out and they just work on cars. How does that get classified? So just something to think about. Professional. We know there's a lot of professionals in, in the neighborhoods, whether we're talking about uh, you know accountants or a lawyer or you know anybody like that. So a professional sector is something that we need to consider as well. The faith groups that are in this neighborhood, there may not be a lot, but I think a lot of times we don't talk about them when we talk about economic development, and we really should. Faith and congregations are hugely powerful when it comes to local legislation, mm -hmm. local policy, right? donations and volunteerism and all those things. So I, I definitely want to include the faith committee uh, community in any way that we can. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, a church or, a, or a, you know, proper. It could be a, an outreach group or a food pantry or something that maybe I'm not aware of and something like that. And then the last one we kind of went and toiled a little bit was about recreation. You know, we know we got trampoline parks and kids, things like that. So something to consider when we're talking about the sector. So we're hoping that, and in the SharePoint document that I'll create, I'll put a sector identifier for the ones that I know and that Joanne has. If you know for sure that, no, Scott, it's not a trampoline park, it's an actually a, a lawyer's office, please, you know, write, write it right in there for me, so that, you know, because as I keep learning. Um, the other piece that we're looking for from the committee is, you know, folks that might have a little bit of time to work with us on our subcommittee. We know most people have families and are busy during the day, so Joanne and I both agreed that we will work with any subcommittee, any folks that can identify a little bit of time. I know you folks are busy. I know you're giving your time. I heard this lady down here. She rattled off every committee in town, I think it was. <laughs> um, you know, So we understand that. Joanne's identified some business owners in Pennardville uh, through the assistance of your town administrator. Is also We brought him into the loop. I've also had some great conversations with Kelly Boyer, your select woman. Uh, Kelly actually reached out to me about a composting program here in Goffstown that she wanted to my help with. And I said, well, while I have you on the phone, um, let's talk about Bernardville. So potentially she might be able to give us you know, some assistance as well. Um, that subcommittee's charge is gonna be finishing up the sectors in the list and then taking and really refining the survey. I have several surveys that have been used for exactly this type of program, business retention and engagement in other communities. We've been looking at one that the university did with the uh, town of Exeter. It's 96 questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a comprehensive survey, but we both agree that we can't ask a small business owner <laughs> to answer 90. So we'd be looking at the, the, the subcommittee to help us call that down to maybe 25 real pertinent questions. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we need your help a little bit. But we're making some progress. I mean, I certainly don't want to you know, take anything from, like I said, with Joanne. She's been gracious enough to carve out an hour with me every Wednesday. And, uh, you know, I think, we're, I think we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you think? It's been great. Um, yeah, I'm, we're just trying to establish the subcommittee as it stands right now. Um, I have one business owner who's very interested, another who would be if we can be flexible with our time. Um, so I'm calling two more tomorrow just to um, follow up with them. So I think it will be an interesting group of people, but it's people who really know Pinardville and have had their <coughs> businesses there for a while. How many do you hope to get to it? Um, we're hoping to get a total of maybe six or seven people. Five, six or seven. We figured our subcommittee, we don't want it too large so that we really don't get anything accomplished, as we know sometimes that happens when you have too many people. Um, but we want five of the right people, six of the right people. And that's why we've been working with Joanne and her contacts in the business community. We went and Joanne introduced me to your town administrator who gave us a couple of floated, a couple of names to us too that he thought would, uh, would be helpful for us. So I want to hear from you. I mean, if you know a business owner that in that neighborhood that you think is, you know, would be good for this subcommittee, please send them my way. I'd love to at least have that conversation. A lot of the work that I do, community organizing and these types of things, it's all about an introduction. 
if I'm cold calling and showing up, sometimes I don't get the type of response. And if you know the, the chairman of the committee called and said, "Hey, you know the guy from UNH is going to give you a call if you got five minutes," mm -hmm. you know those kind of things. Questions? Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? I feel like we've really got a lot out of you last month, so <laughs> the questions might be a little lighter this time around. That's, that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm not one to sit around and wait. I'm one, you know, I really want to get going. Obviously, I want to feel like I'm earning my pay mm -hmm. um, at UNH because I really felt like for a few weeks I really wasn't doing much. Kind of you're, hanging you're, around. you're on record right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have openly expressed that to my supervisor at UNH, and he keeps reminding me. I'm going to remind you of that comment a year from now mm -hmm. when you don't have any time on your schedule. Right. Right. So, no, it's been great. It's been a great few great. weeks. Like I said, Joanne and I have had some great working groups for those time. I think a couple weeks ago we met for almost two hours yeah, um, and worked on stuff. So it's uh, we're coming along. Excellent. So you all have my card, you have my contact information, please call me. I'm, you know, my cell phone's on there. If it has to call me after hours, it's fine. Okay. All right. Not picky. Is there anyone here now who would like to participate in the subcommittee? Yeah, I have time. You have time? Okay. If you, you, I was going to say you live in Nardville, but you don't. I don't, no. no. But you're familiar with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Great. Charlie. Joanne, I may. Um, I'll get back to you. I, okay. I have to do some schedule shuffling. Sure. And anything that the subcommittee does come up with will be presented to your full mm -hmm. committee here for review, right. you know, and, you know, questions and that type of thing before we put anything out. Okay. Um, you know, but I, I believe in having, you know, representation from this. I think it's important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Anything else with it? Okay, we'll just keep you posted. All right. <laughs> Good. Thank you. And then in the meantime, I'll 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 get email con contact for all of you folks, or flow it through Joanne and set up that SharePoint document so that folks can will have that exactly what you're looking at will be in the document, and then I'll create a column for you folks to add your comments to. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sider. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Chairman. Thank, thank you. It was actually the other woman. Oh, wow. um, but I, yeah, there is some. I think she owns cabinets. Sarah Smith? No. So the other woman oh, who actually was the one who was doing the, the uh, organizing. I can contact her as well as cabinets for something. I don't know the exact name, but she, she was actually wanting to do the work. Okay, that's a great idea. I think her name is Alex. That sounds good. Thank you, folks. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so we're going to move on to the uh, approval of the minutes. Um, do we have any corrections or anything like that? All right. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes for the uh, March 6, 2022 meeting? I'll motion. All right. Do I have a second? I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Motion passes. All right, so election of the chair and vice chair. So um, my plan, I don't know if to do this on record, my plan is to step down as chair of this committee. Um, uh, I don't know when effective to, but I guess, do I, is, would uh, that be as of this meeting or would that be as of like next meeting or something? It's up to you. Okay, as of this meeting, I step down as this meeting, I step down as chair. Um, so we're looking to, uh, uh, have a possible election of a, of a chair and vice chair. Um, Bonnie's not here right now, but she has uh, applied for reappointment uh, for the Economic Development Council along with uh, Jonathan Napoli. So um, the this goes back to the select board if I'm not. So this board needs to make a recommendation to the select board and then okay. the select board actually makes the appointment. Okay. So. Do I have a recommend? Do I have a motion for recommendation for uh, Bonnie Govan and Jonathan Napoli to be recommended to the select board? I'll, I'll motion to recommend. All right. Second. All right. All in favor. Aye. Aye. I'm staying. Opposed. You can vote for yourself. Okay. I vote for myself. I don't know about that, John guy. All right. So that motion is passed. So we're going to move on to the um, the recommendation for uh, Bonnie and Jonathan 
uh, to the select board. Saying that now, uh, if one of those, if you wanted to nominate one of those people, they're not officially back on the board, or are so they officially? So they back? are because their term expired, but. Um, it can, can because they've already submitted their paperwork that they're interested in reappointment. It's just the red tape yeah. slow okay. process. Okay. Um, they continue on until they right. they're reappointed. So we also have a consideration for uh, alternate appointments. Um, we have uh, Brian. And I'm going to butcher this up. Mazer. Um, Mazer. Mazer. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Chad Bowen and Melanie Renfro Hebert. Um, Mr. Bowen is here tonight. Mr. Bowen previously was on the select board and is looking to remain on the uh, Economic Development Council um, as an alternate position as of right now. So, Mr. Bowen, would you care to step up to the chair and tell sure. us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Right. Sure. Hello, Chad Bowen, 31 Page Hill Road, Goffstown, and I would love if you would recommend me to be a, an alternate for the second right now. Um, and it would answer any questions you may have. So you're looking to be appointed as an alternate? Well, no, full, but we didn't follow the thing, I don't think. Is so there a full position open? Currently, there is one alternate position open. Okay. Depending on where Greg, right. where Greg goes. So I guess at the conclusion of this meeting, it will be a full position open because I will step down into a, a step down from the step board. down from the board, right? Okay. Step down from the board. So, this, so Chet is essentially applying for a full position. Okay. Yes. So, okay. sorry, just for the sake of clarity. So, you're not just stepping down from right. the chair; you're stepping down from the board. Stepping down from the board. Yeah. Okay. Take sorry to little, hear that. Take a little. Uh, take a little leave. Okay. And I've been on the board for what three and a half, almost four years. I can't believe it, but yes. Yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. Yeah. yeah. I was here 2016 is when I started. I think I started in 2018 or 19, something like that. No? Yeah. I, I'd have to check, but I don't. I know it's been a long time. I don't know. I, have to, I actually have to slip in my like basement. Long time. Okay. We lost a couple of long years. Time. We lost a couple of years. Yeah, so I know. I know. <laughs> so, as, you know, at the, I guess the conclusion of this, I, I will be stepping down and just okay. we're going to start here. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm a little confused. Are these other two applicants, or are the other two applicants applying for the full time or the part time, or what are they, what's the? It looks like they're applying for the applicant, uh, the alternate positions. Alternate positions. Yeah. So they're so all applying the to one position. So, just to be clear, when when they made their application, the only opening was the alternate position. So that's what they were told. They were, you know, this is all you could apply for mm -hmm. because that's all that was open. So now Greg is stepping down altogether. Mm -hmm. So Chet is applying at, at the, for the conclusion of this meeting. So we just need to make a recommendation to fill the full-time position and then the alternate positions after, right? Yeah, my suggestion would be uh, for the alternate, since they're not here and you probably don't know them, is to con uh, continue that until the next meeting and then what have them the come meeting? in yes. and yeah. ask if they could come in to meet you. As a matter of fairness, I, th I think right. that yeah, it you guys gave me an opportunity to be heard. Right. You know, Absolutely. I, yeah. I think that should be extended. Instead of just looking at a piece of paper. Right. 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 Yeah, I agree. Agreed. Right. Yeah. Well, so we give them the opportunity, but Chet is here right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, so Chet, why are you interested in this board? Sure. I'm interested in the board because I've been a part of it in one form or another since 2016 and I'm looking to continue with some of our current goals but also look at extended goals over the course of time such as um, economic development within the master agreement and when enthusiastically supported by the taxpayers maybe even beyond that uh, and coordinating with other boards on extending natural gas potentially and sewer and having site ready plans. These are conversations I would love the Economic Development Council to be a big part of and advocating for. Um, and, you know, filling in those missing pieces of, of that, that coordination and that uh, advocacy, educational initiatives for the, the citizens and the, the taxpayers about why and how this matters. It's, it's more than just reducing the tax rate for property owners. It's also about providing more services for people across uh, the entire town, 
becoming more age friendly for everybody, uh, for every generation. Um, there's a number of things that, that go through my mind when I think about why I'm interested in it. So I'm happy to answer any questions about how we would approach those things or what I would hope to do as a member of the board, but um, some of you know me. I don't want to pretend, sorry, you don't know me. So since you don't know me, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have on that. I you had your hand raised there. Did you have your hand raised? It was a question okay. unrelated to Mr. Bowen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was actually just going to make a comment that I I'm sorry I can't pretend to unknow you. So, <laughs> so I feel like we tried. Tried. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to understand you. That's yeah, I mean I, I feel like I feel like I already me personally speaking for myself I already know enough about you to understand your commitment to this council. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Any great skill to have. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in certain situations. <laughs> uh, um, do we have any other questions for Mr. Bowen? 31 page over. No. Uh, do we have a motion to recommend uh, Chet Bowen to a full position to the EDC? To this okay, so you want me, uh, that was going to be my next question. Yeah, we could be making that make motion to make sure he's a full. Oh, uh, yep. full. Okay. So do we have a motion to make a recommendation to the select board for Chet Bowen as a full member? Do we have a second of that motion? I'll say it. Right. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? No nays. Motion carries. Get to work. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so I did have a question. So going back to the, the consideration of the alternates when we invite um, these folks to come, <clears throat> is, there one, is there one spot open? One spot. Okay. One spot because if he's, Greg is a full member, so by him leaving, right. opened up. But we still have the one alternate. Right. So there'd be two people for one yeah. alternate. Are we um are we risking any kind of a bad taste in people's mouths by preemptively filling the full time position and not offering the alternate? No. Okay. I just want to make I mean, sure. I'm not a member of the board, but I don't think so because okay. you know him. He's been on this board. He's got the experience. Okay. The others haven't been on this okay. board. I just want to make so, sure. To yeah. me, it makes sense. Also, he's, he's also here, too. Yep. So yeah. yep. No, no. I, I, you, you guys know me. I'm always going to ask the are we covered questions. <laughs> yeah. And Gail said we're covered. So yep. that, that, that's <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that goes, sure that goes in the minutes. <laughs> Jim, so when is the select board meeting next? To next Monday. Next Monday. Yeah. And will that will that be on the agenda for next Monday? Um, I can give it. I suspect it could to be. Derek. Yeah. Okay. If it doesn't come up until Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Do we have anything else to talk about today? So, did you want to elect a vice chairman tonight, or do you want to wait on that one? Um, did Bonnie, does Bonnie's term end tonight as yes. well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to recommend that we wait because she's not, she's yeah. obviously not here. Okay. Uh, I would agree. Yeah. And I had another question um, on this list that was handed out. Yeah. Um, if you could, you know, in your free time, if you could go through this and maybe if you know of businesses that are no longer here, if you could let me know and we'll eliminate some from the list just to um because there's some that you know i've never even heard of but mm -hmm. some other people may mm -hmm. you know ones that are tucked away or or some maybe even home occupations like here wbz tv grand view road well that's probably one of the cell towers I think yeah, Grand View is on the map. WBZ TV. That's certainly that was Channel be. Four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but the yeah. but the, yeah. but the, but the yeah. rental of the yeah. site for the tower has to be done under a business right. Right. Uh, deal, so that makes sense. But that's not somebody we would contact. Well, and I was also going to ask. Sorry, are we, Greg? Are you okay if we do a little discussion on this? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just I wanted to ask the question of uh, was there a particular reason that we were including the municipal? Entities. I see we have the um, fire department and the nursing home and no. know, some of those places like that. So this list was provided to us from UNH, and they had they they got it from like a typical business list okay. where we get their business list from. So gotcha. 
Um, I'm not sure when this was all put together, what year, but they probably just have the, the municipal facilities or, or organizations listed here okay. for other reasons. So that no, makes perfect yeah. sense. I just didn't I didn't know if maybe yeah. we were looking to do something with them or, or what. Okay. Saint Anselm's. Saint Anselm's. It would be really nice if they would participate. No, I don't see that. I don't see they're that. not on here. I'll make a note. They're one of the bigger employees in Boston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they are the largest. Yeah. They must be. Yeah. I think they're the largest taxpayer too. Nice if they wanted to be associated with Goffstown. I know. Yeah, I know. That's put more of a spotlight on Goffstown mm -hmm. too. They announced the fact that they were in Goffstown. In Goffstown. Yeah. Very outside of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can do it for them. Yeah. <laughs> we just did it. <laughs> Do we have any other uh, any other issues? Not issues, but uh, discussion points for this list right here. Um, so not for this list. So sorry to jump back and forth. So if you're stepping out, so for next meeting, if you're stepping down and Bonnie's appointment is going through, would Bonnie still be eligible? Would she chair next month's meeting? Um, yes. Okay. And so we table any election of uh, chair and vice chair, chair until then? Yeah, you, you can do it, um, you know, at the end of next, the next meeting in okay. May. I just want to make sure we had somebody who yeah. had enough. Because she would be, <laughs> she would be considered yeah. the acting chair. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Just like Andrew can't, can't be chair. No. No, no. <coughs> An alternate can't be chair, you can't be chair, I can't be chair. Um, and that would be it. The rest of you could. Yeah, because I remember I had to be voted in as full member before I yeah. became chair. Yeah. yeah. It was actually a two month process to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do we have anything else we want to talk about? Yeah. Just on that note, again, just to include, we're going to invite these two applicants to the, the next, next meeting. Next meeting. Okay. Yeah. I don't have anything else. Let me try to think of businesses. So next door this month, there's a bakery going in. Mm -hmm. And next to the bakery in the same building, there's a boutique, like a women's boutique, and a craft store that provides lessons for kids and, and adults. Um, they're all supposed to be going in like I think by the end of the week or next week, very soon. Um, what else do we have? Um, so there's a gun shop on off of Cody Ave mm -hmm. in the industrial park. They're looking at um, opening up a retail store in the Fun City Plaza, in the units that are near the subway and the, um, the Pretty Nails, right facing the Mass Road side. Um, there were car wash going in by the boots? The car wash is under construction, um, taking a while, um, but it is under construction. Um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give an anticipated opening at this point, I'm not sure. Um, the, I toured yesterday, I toured the 55 and older project across mm -hmm. the street from the villa. And, you know, I, I saw, it, I went into the open house and um, it has a beautiful view. I think the unit is sold, but it has a beautiful view of Glen Lake. Um, the, the uh, you know, there's like a, there's like a master bedroom downstairs and then on the second level is a second bedroom with another bathroom, full bathroom down, full bathroom up. Um, the units that are on that side are 
more more money than the ones that are facing the road. Um, I think the starting price is somewhere around three eighty. Um, and the the uh, you know the rooms are small, but mm -hmm. it was very pretty. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, was a unit. I think they were four forty, four forty five. I think one of those two bedrooms. Being How much? Four forty-five. Four forty-five. Four ninety somewhere out there. Um, they have sold several of them. I would I'd say on the you know in the first phase they've sold. I think she said maybe about six. <coughs> and the second phase is now under construction. Um, they just uh, they just applied for their foundation permit, so that oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. they're doing the so same. So that thing. is that other lot. It's kind of separate. Yeah, they are it? separate. Yes. So what's going on in that? The well, how same many, exact thing. How many units um, on that lot? They told me yesterday. I want to say there's six buildings. Really? Six buildings. No, I don't know how many units. Wow. Um, looks like it's. Uh, yeah, and uh, I don't think that one has a view of the water, uh, but both of them have the rail trail that runs right behind mm. the property. Will any of them have a view once everything leafs out? <laughs> I could look at that from the rail trail. Now, is there a Starbucks going in too? So, Starbucks is on the planning board's agenda for the end of the month, mm -hmm. and they're looking to go into the plaza where Franklin Savings Bank is, oh, adjacent okay. to mm -hmm. the Rite Aid. Oh, a new, new, a new build, savings. a new construction? Yes. Right across okay. from Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Um, do, do we have any understanding as to why? They're looking at new construction instead of capitalizing on some of the available space that could be renovated. No, I have no idea, but uh, we haven't through. met with them yet. Probably, uh, probably uh, through, yeah. Starbucks. Okay. Yeah, because they usually, I mean, at least my experience, they're usually standalone. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there's sense. one that had that sign like that on South Willow, but that's kind yeah, of. It's a very funky. It's not standalone. It's oh, a it's very. A, oh, that's right. You are right with that. Yeah. It's a very funky design. It looks. Kind of very urban, um, kind of futuristic, mm -hmm. very steel-looking. Almost looks to me like a trailer. Um, uh, and one of the things they have to do to, in order to meet the requirements is to build something that fits in with the surrounding buildings. Mm -hmm. And this does not at all. Okay. So I don't know where that's going to end up. Hmm. Interesting. I've seen plans for the, um, the old factory building, mm -hmm. you know, and, and since that been here, I guess they've been hanging around for years. Is anything going to happen there? I've, I've seen specific plans for yeah. buildings in three three phases and everything. And so nobody knows what's going on. So that project was approved many years ago, and nothing happened with it. And maybe about a year and a half, two years ago, a, a different developer purchased it. He was um, from that company from Massachusetts. And they came back maybe last year, I think it was, with a revision. Not drastic, but they made changes. And uh, it was approved by the planning board, and that approval is still in effect. And they're supposed to be um, contacting us sometime in May to uh, kind of give us a report on where they stand with everything. But they've been asking a lot of questions about certain uh, requirements. And DPW did reach out to them recently about the schedule. And it sounds like pr something will probably be going forward. This That's Market Square, summer. right? Market Square um, Architects? It's called, oh, yeah. Okay. I thought you meant the name of the project. It's yeah. called Hadley Falls. Yeah, that, that yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, God, I did the. I did the imaging work for yeah. them back in, yeah. what was that, 2017, 2018? It's been so going a for a while. Thing. It's a real thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a real thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what's what's uh, the approval time uh, in order to activate that approval? Is it, is so it they have one year? One year, and okay. CBA approval is for two years. So they're inching closer to those say. deadlines. Yeah. Um, and they would have to ask for an extension if they don't meet the... And they, that's what's been happening all along. They've been getting yeah, extensions, and then they came in with this change. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they were adding some additional features 
um, on the outside, some hardscape uh, along like patio and uh, benches to sit down by the river and um, some propane uh, fire pits and things like that. So, and some drainage changes because they did work on what's the name of that street there on the side? Um, on East Union? East Union. They did work on, the DPW did work on East Union yeah, and it brought did. the grade way up and so then it no longer met the grade for the driveway. It was an emergency access and right. it no longer met that grade so they had to do some redesign work and work it out with the fire department. So it was kind of a mess there for a while. <laughs> Is there any other updates on the <clears throat> on the bridge from off no, of the rail trail? I, do you know anything about that? Yeah, they're um, involved with the rotary, and um, it, it's going to cost uh, I forget a significant amount of money to have the structural work, you know, the groundwork and all that. And uh, I forget where it sits right now. But they're, they're looking at an outlay of initial money to um, you know that whole. Um, end of the bridge there, mm -hmm. it, it's got to be structurally sound and all that to make sure that, that it, it is and all that. So I don't know whether we've approved that yet. Um, um, they're starting that and there's, um, there's their uh, uh, private group that's going to uh, yeah, get together yeah, at our committee, right? And, and they're looking at ways to uh, fundraise to put a covered bridge or mm -hmm. uncovered bridge. Or well, we talked last year that you know, any support we can give them, right. we'd yeah. like to try and do. Everybody because wants it, the more beautification we can do of the village area, above and beyond what the master plan has already accomplished. Especially if that project comes in right now. Right, it's right. only going uh, to attract people. I mean, that would be a big boom for right now. Well, the factory street project is a residential project, so yeah. it's a little outside the purview of our committee, but it still yeah. is, people. it's people, right? Yeah. It's income coming into the area, so, yeah. yeah. And people who will use the businesses. Exactly. We funded something, didn't we? Didn't we fund mm -hmm. some feasibility, some kind of feasibility the study? The study. Yeah. Yeah. That was for the bridge. Right. Yeah. Right. And it was five thousand dollars. Okay. No, yeah. I'm sorry, twenty five hundred. Yeah, I was gonna say that was half that, yeah. yep. Is it, so that study had had been made, that was a feasibility study? For yes. whether you whether it was whether it whether could it was be feasible, be done. No. <laughs> <laughs> whether it was feasible. Whether it could be done in where they wanted to place it and oh, good. And uh, then there was some hang-ups with the ownership of Rotary Park, and I mean, it just it's like an ongoing. Yeah, yeah. that's been resolved, though. That I think did. so. Yeah. Uh, I'm well, not maybe. Sure about okay. That. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, one, one I, I don't think it'd be. I don't think it would hold up. Project push comes to show, but we haven't got the push and show yet. <laughs> okay. Just want to look at that. Just want to. Oh, no, go ahead. Uh, just one other question about new new construction. Uh, beside the car wash, yeah. isn't there something else going into the next lot up? Yes. Do I see around so, the site um, work being? You probably are familiar with the, with the man who sells trailers right after the roundabout right. near the high yeah. school on Mass Road. Well, he has purchased that property. And okay. he, for now, he's just going to put his excess trailers down at that site because he can't fit everything where he is. But eventually he wants to build a small building and have everything down there, his office and, and the sales. Um, but for, so what he did, he's coming in, um, I think it's the beginning of May, for a site plan for the whole project and he's going to phase it. Um, this way he doesn't have to come back again when he does the building. I remember correctly, there was three lots that were for sale. So yes. he's taking a car wash, then there's his, his then lot would be a middle lot, and then there's another no, one. No, the Isn't middle lot. Yes, you're right. It's the car wash, his lot, and then there's another lot. No, that's not right. It's the car wash, another lot, and then his lot. Okay. He's the down. middle lot was just recently sold to it was. someone. Okay. So we haven't seen any plans on that yet. Right. That's good. Yeah. That's more. Was there or was there a reason for the rail trail map? It was just updated. Oh, okay. More Perfect. work has been done. Okay. So, um, which is a good thing. So. I just want to make sure we didn't miss discussing yeah. something if it was, no. it was on our radar. David Pierce okay. has been working really hard on going to each developer each time they come in that they are located near the trail okay. and asking them to um, 
not pay the whole thing, but give something to support the, the um, upgrade to the trail. So everyone so far has been very cooperative. Mm -hmm. um, and then David goes out there and stakes it and kind right. of oversees the upgrades. Okay. It's going to be interesting for the egress, ingress of the car wash or anything that's on that lot. <clears throat> that's along the rail trail, too. Is that going to be one entry point? Um, so the, the one for the car wash and the, and the lot next to it <coughs> has a shared road. They had to actually build a private road to come in to go to the car wash, and then it, it tears off to go to the next lot over. But the, but the um, trailer lot is, uh, it was supposed to go before the planning board more recently, like I think the 28th of this month. However, there was a question about whether they have frontage. So now we're in the process of reviewing deeds and all of that. So we have to make the determination of what they need to do. Okay. They claim that they have the frontage. The town is saying it's questionable. You know, this stuff goes back to the 1800s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I was asking because how that, how that would affect the rail trail. Along right. that point. That's they probably do it the same way the pro landscape does. How they, I don't know if you shot yeah, the pro at all, but they have it kind of incorporated and yeah. they, they actually went out they paved and, what, it, right? and paved their yeah. stretch right in front of them. Yeah. So, you know, if they, if they continue that on all the way down that stretch, it'd be a nice part of the trail to walk along. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's got to watch out for those cars coming out of the car right. wash. And I like that he, uh, I like that he puts the reminder on here about how the stop signs work, or the stop lights, <laughs> I mean. Drives me nuts when people just sit at that blinking red light and don't move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Blinking red means stop. Tell your friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I just want to say as a personal note, uh, I just want to thank this board and thank the town of Gaston for letting me serve. I think it's been two years and ten months now that I think about it. <laughs> 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 a little more. So, um, I, and I just want to thank this committee too. It's been a pleasure uh, serving the town. And, so it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Yes, it has. I appreciate it. Um, for the last time, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. I'll second. That I'll second. All right. All in favor to adjourn? Say aye. 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 Who made the motion? I did. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Didn't do an error, Greg. <laughs> to get you an honorary gavel. <laughs> no, I was like, slam. <laughs> <laughs>